Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be taking a look at the Scarlet Spear Guide New Game Plus build by Fextra Life. A lot of people have been asking me for a Scarlet Rot build for a while, and this is what I decided to go with after testing and playing around with different Scarlet Rot weapons. So let's go ahead and talk about the weapons that we're using for this build. We're dual wielding Rotten Crystal Spears. We have two of them, and the reason this is a new game plus build instead of not an earlier game build is simply because you cannot get these until the Hallowed Tree area by farming the crystalline enemies there, which is basically the very, very end of the game. And the reason we have two of them here, obviously, is because you're going to be able to build up Scarlet Rot faster by hitting twice with both weapons at the same time with L1 presses, and they're very, very fast with spears. But I do want to make it clear that you could potentially use one of these and then use a different spear that you use something with Rot Grease with and get a similar effect and just use the Rot Grease during boss fights because you don't really trigger uh, Scarlet Rot on regular enemies all that often. So if you wanted to use a different spear that was primarily dexterity scaling that could be infused, like the Cross Nauta Knot or something like that, you could use that on one hand in your main hand buff it, and then use that with a Rotten Crystal Spear during boss fights. Beyond these two weapons, we have the Coil Shield here. And the reason we have this Coil Shield is because it adds poison, and to be more specific, deadly poison, which is kind of like a better version of poison. But using its weapon skill, Viper Bite, will usually set poison on most bosses in one hit, and a lot of bosses in two hits if you don't do it in one. So moving along to the armor that I'm using for this build, I actually have the Red Main Knight set here, and there are a few reasons for that, but first and foremost is because the poise is 51. 51 is the minimum poise you want for this build, because you are going to trade damage, and I'll get into that in just a second. So moving along for the talismans for this build, first we have the Spear Talisman. Guess what this does? It increases your counter damage. Obviously, we're going for counter damage with this build, so this is a must for this build, because you want to make sure you increase that as much as possible. Beyond that, we have Millicent's Prosthesis, which gives us 5 Dexterity. This is a Dex-focused Spear, so that's good. And this gives us increased damage as we attack repeatedly with our L1 attacks. One L1 press will trigger this Talisman. And the same with the Rotten Winged Sword Insignia. If you don't have Rotten Winged Sword Insignia, then you're going to want Winged Sword Insignia. And this will allow you to gain, you know, trigger this with each L1 press. You're going to increase the amount of damage you do. So this is going to ramp up your damage very quickly. And then on top of that, we have the Kindred of Rot's Exaltation, which will give us plus 20% attack power when we are poisoned or something near us becomes poisoned. In this case, once you trigger that with the Coil Shield on a boss, you'll gain this buff, or if you trigger Scarlet Rot with the Spears, you'll gain this as well. What's really great about this is that it's so easy to trigger with the Coil Shield, you'll get this almost every fight really, really at the beginning. But another thing I want to mention too, that I didn't mention in the armor section, is you can use the Mushroom Crown to gain a further 10% attack power if you want to do that. You can put that on your head and then some really tanky armor of the other three pieces. I don't really like the fashion of that piece, so I didn't do it here. But if you're talking about max damage, you're definitely wearing that headpiece. So for attributes for this build, I have 60 Vigor, 20 Mind, 36 Endurance, 21 Strength, 80 Dexterity, 16 Intelligence, 7 Faith, and 9 Arcane. Just some final tips for this build. When it comes to the Flask of Wonders Physique, you're going to want the one that increases your damage with consecutive attacks. This will give you even more attack power as you poke away with a L1 attack on your spears. When combined with the Millicent's Prosthesis and Winged Sword Insignia, you're going to get very, very high damage, especially if you set Poison with the Coil Shield. Your attack power is going to be really, really good for this point of the game. And then lastly, when it comes to the Great Rune you want to use for this build, there really aren't too many Great Runes because you only really need three stats for this build. You need Dexterity, you need Vigor, and you need Endurance. So Godric's is not a good choice. You really don't need FP. You could take Radon's. Radon's is probably not a bad choice for this because it gives you stamina and health, which are both good. But Melania's Ruin would probably be the best one because it'll give you health back as you attack rapidly. But that's not you're not going to get until like the very end of your NG Plus playthrough. So it won't really help you for most of the game. In my improved build, we're going to have 60 Vigor's. That's the final Vigor soft cap. 
We're going to have base mind, as mind's not really that necessary in this build. We're going to have 14 endurance, as that's the most endurance that we need to maintain a medium load. We're going to have 60 strength, as that is the strength soft cap. We're going to have 80 dexterity when boosted with Millicent's prosthesis, as that is the final dexterity soft cap. And we're going to have base intelligence, a faith, and arcane, as they aren't really that relevant to this build. For weapons, we're going to use dual quality and spur rapiers, and the Ash of War on the offhand isn't really that important. But for the main hand, we're going to use Poison Moth Flight, and that's going to give us deadly poison, while not needing to waste a equip splot on the Coil Shield or the Poison Venomous Fang, which will also give us deadly poison. Now the reason we went quality is because at rune level 165, that's going to give us the most damage for our stats. Another reason to use a physical ant spur is because you can buff it with rot grease. And rot grease is going to add 63 scarlet rot buildup on top of our 55 scarlet rot buildup. So that's going to over double our scarlet rot buildup. And also one of the reasons I chose this over the rotten crystal spears is those cannot be buffed. So you are stuck with the 55 scarlet rot buildup that they come with. For armor, we're going to have Mushroom Crown. That's going to boost our damage by 10% when poison is procced nearby. We're going to have the Fingerprint Armor Altered, Godskin Noble Gauntlets, and Fingerprint Greaves. And that's going to give us that 51 poise breakpoint that's ever so important in PvE. For Talismans, we're going to have the Spear Talisman, the Millicent's Prosthesis, the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, and Kindred Rot's Exploitation. Spear Talisman is going to give us 1.15 counter hit damage, and so that's going to end up right around 50% counter hit damage total. Millicent's Prosthesis is going to give us 5 decks, as I said earlier, as well as boost our damage with continuous attacks. The same will be said of Rotten Wicked Sword Insignia, minus the dexterity boosting. And Kindred's Rock's Exultation is going to be like the Mushroom Crown, but instead of 10%, it's going to give us a 20% damage boost. For the Great Rune, we're going to use Morgoth's Great Rune, as that is going to give us the most HP, and Stamina isn't particularly relevant, Mind isn't particularly relevant, and none of the other stats are really that good. Effectra did mention the Melania's Great Rune, which is an interesting concept. I haven't really tested Melania's Great Rune. For the Crystal Tier, we have Opline Hard Tier, and then Thorny Crack Tier. Opline Hard Tier is going to give us 15% damage negation for 3 minutes. And Thorny Crack here is again going to boost our continuous attacks.